So donation acknowledgement is pretty cool. Um, basically how it works is before you even enter donation, you configure your system to take donation, <clears throat> to record the donations, um, and you set up your donation acknowledgement templates. So the first place you'll go is acknowledgement settings. This is where you're going to set your system default templates so that if you do no further configuration for your, for your templates, it will use these settings. So set your general, your tribute for donations and pledges, whether or not you're going to combine, and whether or not you're going to don uh, acknowledge by gift or by donor, which will give uh, basically a cumulative uh, thank you letter since your last um, thank you letter. From here, when you create your funds, um, under configuration, gifts, funds, you can override that default on a per fund basis. So you may have a default th uh, thank you letter that you have for the entire system, but say for example, maybe your building fund has a different thank you letter. You can also later manage those thank you letters under manage templates. So you can come here, manage all your letters, <coughs> thank you letters. <coughs> Then, when you're ready to acknowledge, after entering a donation, you go to Send Acknowledgements, see all the letters that are awaiting you, hit Generate, and, you know, if need be, change how you're going to send it, remove anybody from this batch that you need to, and then once all your letters are good to go, I mean, by the way, we do require that you have an email or a mail, then you can email by sending sender name, subject, sender email, send email, or <clears throat> print with one of the printing, printing options. And then hit done printing when you're done printing. And that's donation acknowledgement in a nutshell. Um, not too much to be said <coughs> technically for it. Um, when you're managing your templates, um, not too much trick going on there. We've come the templates that we have come with the system, pretty straightforward. Just mouse over the sections you wish to edit, and you will be given, and then click on the edit button, and you'll be able to edit. Put in placeholders. These placeholders will fill in the information about the donor or donations. All the client info ones are about the organization. Okay. <clears throat> um, if we want, we can also say what funds it's attached to. So instead of going into the fund, we can specify that here. So we can see that most of my funds are using this general acknowledgement template. If these templates don't match what an organization needs, then we just need to get a copy of what they have. And we can go ahead and go before the team and ask for a new template option that will give us the structure needed to build the template for an organization. It's not too hard to do. Um, I've already put one before the team. For your end acknowledgements, it's a fairly similar process. We set a template up ahead of time, and then we just go ahead and say what year we wish to acknowledge, select our template. So let's do that, uh, 2015, better year. Select our template. And if this, and it'll tell us how many people are, are for that year that need to be acknowledged. And um, if we want to refine it, we can use search criteria like we would for advanced search. <clears throat> so from there, some really cool features, in my opinion, are appeals. This is an important and cool feature. Um, this basically is your segmented. Pa uh, segments and packages for mailing appeals of any sort, any size, anything from 50 people to 50,000 people we can handle through appeals. And then we can break those appeals up into segments for reporting purposes, and we can even declare that we're going to have different packages for different types of letters that we're going to send, different ways we're going to approach it, and then we can get even different files for each appeal, seg uh, for every segment uh, package kind of combo. So if I have a general segment that's getting, you know, half of it's getting one package, one half is getting the other, then I got two files, each with half. <clears throat> and 
Another cool and another important feature, I believe, is labels and letters. Similar to appeals, this lets you send correspondence to um, mailing correspondence to donors, but this is for usually for a smaller scale, but it's basically a built-in mail merge. And so, as we kind of played with earlier, we have templates. So we'll basically give our batch a name, how do we want our output file, give a temp, select our templates, if it labels or letters, and then search criteria of who we will be including in this mail merge, effectively. It's like as I said before, same as advanced search. Um, <clears throat> a lot, very popular feature is events. We can create events, put these events online. We'll be able to, say, we'll be able to create one-time events, repeating events, anything from a workshop to a performing arts performance. Um, on the dashboard for our events, we get a breakdown of things like the costs, the income, how's it doing. We have the ability to send invites for an event, even if we don't put that event online, we can still invite people to register online and they'll get a private notification. Speaking of which, we have notifications for events, wait lists, configurable registration forms so that we can decide what information about a registrant or an attendee we wish to have. Um, a lot of people are interested in reporting, so for that we use the Exago um, mail uh, excuse me, Exago um, Reports Manager. If our goal is to have probably about 300 predefined reports for any kind of report you might possibly need. If you need a report we don't have, you can always create your own. Enhanced reports is what they're called, basically custom reports. Um, or if it's something that you're struggling to create on your own, you can always uh, get a hold, they can always get a hold of support and um, you know, we can make the report or go to our team and even go even more complicated or advanced, probably phrase I should use. Um, with all reports, we can also schedule them to run automatically at a later date, and we can get emailed the result. Really good for if you've got 50,000, 100,000, a million contacts, and your running of that report will just take you forever. You can always just schedule it to run. It'll run. You can move on with life. Um, an important feature also is pages. This is how we can put donation pages, events online, so that people can donate and register online. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and we can configure the look and feel of these pages, um, kind of so that they'll match more more closely our uh, an organization's public page, actual website. Um, and the last really important feature is um, <coughs> excuse me, um, what I, uh, custom data sets. So we have a lot of fields for tracking just about any, you know, a good number of, of pieces of information that might be of interest for an organization. Custom data sets let you basically track anything you want. So this can be anything from simple demographics to a uh, log of, say, student grades, um, artists' projects, um, we can also use custom data sets to create um, invoice items. So we could then create a custom data set of an invoice item that we might be tracking, say merchandise sales, t-shirt sales, book sales, anything like that, and it will be available in our invoicing. And the whole system, <clears throat> all transactions are invoices, and so we can keep track of what's paid, what's unpaid, what's partially paid, and receive payments against them, leave things you know, outstanding, send invoicing uh, statements as needed, um, print those up, that is, um, so on and so forth. And um, so that's, um, in my opinion, the really important features worth mentioning. Um, Batch gift entry, also an important feature, so you don't have to do it one at a time. You could do maybe 10, 20, 30 at a time, or our grants process to finish up. Um, this basically lets you track a grant from start to finish, whether or not it's accepted or rejected. And then you can also report on those. So, um, there you go. Hope that works for you, Dan, and talk to you later.